Rusty gonna drive me them dubs. That's short for double ups. Is this flight control fully flight control ready? Yeah, she's been approved. Okay. We're gonna recreate this cover. I know, hey. I'm feeling a little bit more sparky since I got up. <laughs> Sorry. Let's get in the clips. I got a surprise. Hey, Russ, I got a surprise. She's been super foggy out right now. She's gonna burn off. Oh, this is gonna be good today. We got a surprise today for you and for you. This here is Wakeboard Magazine. It's uh, no longer in print, but I've got a stack of fun right here. Hashtag Wake History. This is Shannon Best. This was when he was on the short line down at Ski Rickson in Pompano, and I saw this and I was just like, oh, this is sick. And this is one of your covers. <laughs> there you uh, go. Rusty's had quite a few covers. All oh, sick, Jace, there it is. That was early. This was 2006. This was out here. Uh, on my lake with Jerry Nunn. So I was on a wake skate. He was doing a 313 over me. That's a Rayleigh with a 360. What? I had to do this switch right in the trough of the wake going Wait. really fast. On this this <laughs> cover was when I first noticed I was I was like, shoot, I'm losing my hair. Oh three, this was the video games. I had a video game with Activision. It was on PS2 and Xbox. It and they, your hair they definitely better. gave me more hair. <laughs> But it actually took him a long time, so probably when we started making the game, I had more hair and then lost it in the process. This was at Radar doing a whip on the roam. Covered by Joey Maddock. One Pretty of them. popular. People think this is Photoshop. This is not Photoshop. <laughs> this one makes me slightly uncomfortable. Long live, live the king. But the reason they did that was they did a funny... Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, goofy, whatever, right? Here, this one. <laughs> <laughs> How about you riding the horse backwards? <laughs> Can you keep riding? It's like... Can Shamari keep riding? This was in 2012. That was 11 years ago. I guess you can. <laughs> this was the last cover that I did. There's a whole story on this one that we did a video on and um, sliding the barge that was up in Alabama. And that was the second to last magazine they ever printed. Who got the last cover? Shoda in Japan. Pretty sick. Okay, ready? My first cover? Ever? That first cover ever. Bum, bum, bum. And what's cool about it is it was the first time they Ooh. did a gate cover is what it's called. Feel seven. Man, like you want to get stuck in time, just just flip through something. these things. Just, just say Do you it. think you should wear my board shorts today? <laughs> so that they're super long. <laughs> so here it is. This is pretty sick, right? This is the remake. This is a 1998 graphic on my 2023 shape and nearly down to it, like all the details. A couple little little sneak hits, little Easter eggs. Got the performance ski insert, little license plate. This is put into the graphic. The old sticker. Yeah. And what's pretty cool is these can be purchased, but there's really limited. So by the time you see this, there might not have any, but if you call performance ski insert 407-859-7544, that's S-K-I-I. I've remembered that since 1995. And you can get that hat and the shirt too. Exactly, you got some. I got, got the shirt. He's got like a bunch of gear that you can go get from uh, perfski.com. The base of this, super sick. It's like in high def compared to what it was before because just the technology we, we can print things. You can get this thing in a 139, a 144, and a 150, but I think they're sold out of a lot. I don't know, you gotta call them or go online and see what's left if you want one of these things. So this is without my sponsor graphics, and this is with, of course, you gotta give a shout out to all the companies I've been working with. In fact, a lot of these, like, Nautique and Jet Pilot, I've been with those guys for, and of course Hyperlight, for over 25 years. Very thankful that I get to do this. Rusty, there's more. Wait, there's more. Hit the up button, hit the up button. The boat you did it behind? Not necessarily. <laughs> Same boat though? No, no. Close? It's close. Oh. This yeah. isn't the same boat, but this is definitely a throwback. Whoa! This is the Super Sport 210. 
This is what we're ripping behind. Absolutely. So the plan, Russ is gonna drive me some double ups. Oh, sound system. But the thing's pretty cherry, huh? Do we have a shower? Yep. Yeah, this is good. It's crazy how small they are compared to our boats now. Look at this. Listen to it. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. This is our pre-workout. Ran a little juice to her with these lead wake bags. Body weight. Rusty gonna drive me them dubs. That's short for double ups. We're gonna recreate this cover, the 720 sequence. Honestly, Russ? Yes? I'm slightly nervous about doing just a straight heel seven where like my axis is pretty flat. If I do heel sevens off the wake, I'm a little bit like kind of tucked up and off well, axis. And you know what? The good and the bad news is the double up behind this thing won't even be half the size of the regular Paragon where you <laughs> So you're no probably joke. probably gonna have a hard time doing heel sevens. Hey, let's bring on the challenge. Maybe we get to the end of this and I haven't landed it, but I'm gonna give it a try. I don't believe a double up behind this boat will be even a fraction of the wake of our current Paragon. Back in the day on this setup, you know, we would load these things way down. The platform would be like this far underwater. Um, I think you put more weight in. I would ride this so long. I'd ride it like 85 feet, maybe 82, and ride it 25 miles an hour. I don't want to do that. I want to ride it like 21 and maybe 70 feet. But that's not cool, dude. <laughs> yep, bro. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. I think I gotta put a little meat on it. I think a little bit, tee that up a little, little more. Yeah, I lost my angle in the calmness. I'm, That's right. I could tell it was a bit open. Oh gosh, I was like, I'm just gonna go. And as I got there, I go, here it comes. I'm surprised you went, honestly. Me too. Cause it wasn't that much kick. No. How does it feel, aside from that? It's hard to feel anything else aside from that. to just drift in like these look different than a, than a paragon double like the timing. <laughs> yeah because they're like a little miniature like one baby double up. yeah here we go all right oh. told you it's perfect My whole 
whole cup exploded. That was good! Hey, good uh, effort. Oh man. It's not a crazy hard trick. I just haven't done like a straight heel seven off the double up and I don't know how long, but that used to be like, that was the first seven that I did. I didn't make it yet. So the plan was to go out and lay out the, the seven, just like the Wakeboard Magazine cover from 1998. How many years ago was that? That was 25 years ago. The fun part about wakeboarding is it's like, no, you're not gonna go and have the best set or always hit exactly like what you wanna do. So much of like social media, like Instagram and YouTube, it's it's so filtered to show like the successes. So this is yeah. just straight up, like this is how it is. When, when you went off the dock and you hooked the left and immediately started to drive, I was like, oh, yes. we're getting right oh, into yeah, this. Oh yeah, that's how we're we do it. We're going straight into this. This is how we do it. Hey, warm up, oh. shmarm up. That was crazy. So I think I jumped the wake like twice. Maybe but a But make sure speed and the rope length is right and crack one. Straight into dubs. <laughs> it, was, it was different, man. The wake is definitely smaller, but you can still have fun behind any size boat. And I'm not gonna give you my my Instagram or YouTube filtered version of life. I'm gonna show you like, hey, I tried to set a goal. I didn't necessarily get it. Russ got his double ups dialed, you know? You drive this little kink. Maybe yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, do a, a video on how to drive double ups. You can show them how to do that. Really close. Didn't get it, but he can and will do it. It just, it's early in the morning. That was super fun. You do not have to get, you'll see us out in like the Paragons. Those are rad, super thankful, rad boats. Like they're awesome. Best. You can have any size boat and have a good time. But Rusty, thank you for driving. Always. You guys, thank you for watching. <laughs> and watching me not like, I didn't have the success that I wanted, but that doesn't mean I don't keep riding. Like not every day is gonna be your best set, your best day. But it was fun. There was moments Absolutely where you fun. were like, this is awesome. Yeah. It was like a couple of those I got punted and I was like, oh, I might make it. And then I got kind of And then scared. I distracted you because you were in the air and I was like, yeah! <laughs> I could hear you while I was up in the air. And when I got spanked on. But that's why I wear a CJ life jacket. Jet pilot. Bang. Murray vest. Go check them out. Performance ski and surf. Bill Porter, thank you for working with Hyperlight on this board. And this is awesome. Does it kind of look hey, like you didn't land? Watch this. Watch this. Like you landed, but watch. didn't? Watch. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Backs up to the left. My B, my B. Yep. So once again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, put those below. If you don't subscribe, maybe consider doing that. And always appreciate it when you like and share. Dang it. <laughs> no matter Hold it under pressure. No matter what you're doing, always enjoy your ride. Peace! Peace. I thought I was coming I in the coming. right way. Like I saw the, it coming. the proper way. I saw it coming. I was, I was like, oh, I was I'm telling. gonna stick this perfect. I was I was telling I was telling him like watch this, he's gonna back it. I I did the same thing Dang. when I pulled in this morning. I did the exact same thing.